All right, folks, I'm going to put this as a number three. I want all three to be released. This is related to, absolutely, this is related to a continuation of destruction of my property in which, without absolutely any doubts, Polish police is involved. Regretfully, have to say, border patrol. Uh, continuation of this thing here related to the video second political asylum procedure in Poland during 2019 uh, where you can hear the Polish immigration officer repeatedly harassing uh, in respect to my knife issue pocket knife foldable pocket knife uh, which seems it was like extremely uh, for the reasons I already have explained why uh, Dutchy issue. Look at this thing here, by the way. See this thing here, look at that. I hope you can see it. Look at this. Look at this. I hope you can see this. They cut, they cut and 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 cut. Okay. I just want to, I just state this so you can understand what the situation is. All right. Um, not because I would be in any way uh, moved by, you know, like that I would suffer anything because, because of this knife issues, whatever, their stupid game. But I'm just, once you get a little bit idea about, I'm not going to say what it feels like because it shouldn't feel really. Uh, you know, like seeing me like mentally affected by this kind of issues. I'm not. I gotta tell you this straight ahead. Uh, the point here is that you got to understand about what's going on. You know, when I say Polish police, when I say border patrol, it angers me because it angers me because I applied for border patrol. I applied for police, past examinations for the police, um, was denied employment because of the involvement, MK Ultra involvement, even if it was done on me, doesn't matter. Uh, what they do is they, they create mess out of your employment even more and get you somehow in cahoots. So use some kind of excuse whatever anything even if you have no criminal background record anything like this they can always do something to your employment they can use employment to torture harass like they did and you're not going to qualify for that position and so on and so forth this is the stuff i always was interested i was interested in fbi cia government law enforcement was really my passion and it pisses me off that really pisses me off nothing pisses me off more than you know stuff like this this is the stuff that you know it really digs me you know when I there's so many good police officers out there majority or border patrol people they put their lives online for your sake for my sake and you have a few rotten apples that do the stuff like this they cast shadow uh, on entire country not only law enforcement they screw the whole thing up and really like I said nothing pisses me more than that for me the police is like uh, something I, I totally rely on uh, like without absolutely any hesitation like without absolutely any question except over there in Slovenia it, just, it upsets me when I see the same saying going on in Poland, as I have seen in Slovenia and in Belarus, especially Belarus, all this stuff, play with the knives, start, started with my filing for political asylum in Hungary in 2017, uh, when I actually switched the table uh, and I started to you know promote idea about russia you know see myself as 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 an uh, uh supporter of the russia that you know it would be good you know if 
you know, just really utopia that totally defer, differs and deferred from the past. But you know, you always, I'm a person like this, always believing good. I'm always a person that always is gonna, you know, see, but you know, I'm, I'm not stupid, I'm not naive, I'm gonna say it's like, it doesn't matter, even if, if, if a hundred people goes, you know, you have to go and you have to stick to your principles throughout your life, it doesn't matter how hard, you know. It's like I said to the Belarus guy the other day, it doesn't matter if you have a hundred people and you're gonna have 99 spit in your face, one after another, uh, you still don't know if the hundred one is gonna spit in your face. You just have to play by the right rules, you just have to do the right thing. And I'm just a relentless believer in good. I can't help myself. For me, just to think about, you know, about the past and the fact that we would learn nothing from it and that we would not want to help one another and do good for one another is just somehow unacceptable. Okay, so when I, these are very touchy issues for me when it comes to law enforcement. Um, that's when they started to play with this stuff. They did modify electronic equipment to me, computers. They screw me up computers, as you know. They did that before. They did this. Uh, it's already since I was in US, they sabotage. Ruskis did. Yugoslav Serbs. Uh, my niece's husband, Mitya Weber, was the one who was used for that garbage. They did that stuff, but they would not go and just like totally cut, destroy, cut, wreck and whack everything. This first time that happened in 2017, all right, this was the first time in, in Budapest. And then when I came to, uh, it was nothing in Ukraine, but I don't remember anything in Ukraine. No, it was not in Ukraine. I don't remember in Ukraine it would be. But when I came to Belarus, boy, this is where everything just started to fall apart and some funny people around me that were involved in MK Ultra, who gestured that how they are related to Americans and stuff like this, like Russian stuff, MK Ultra members, and you just have to believe them they are and do your propaganda on behalf of Kremlin and stuff like that. Uh, boy, things just keep fall apart. I mean, uh, the police station in Vitebsk, where I was, again, a very good police station. I don't know, this was like a smaller police station, like on in certain part of the town where I was brought, where I came to report uh, damage with my backpacks. Okay. They came and it took me to one location not too far from this immigration where you have to report your, your residence. That's where, that's where the police station was. I reported it. And boy, I had the police officer, literally police officer, to whom I have reported backpack that was damaged inspecting my backpack and I was get was I was giving the report to another police officer to a lady that was there I could see him like this on the side that he was inspecting my backpack with the knife in his hands and doing like this to get more damage done I mean Belarus again I'm not saying entire police station in Vitebsk the biggest one I'm not saying I don't know how, what, this and that. I did, I never ever want to say about this stuff. But now when I see this similarity, this 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 relation between individual over there who did who talked about this knife and about what's going on here and what went on over there is just... This is just bizarre. I don't know what to say about that. I I don't... I know I'm kind of speechless. It's a lot of stuff I have gone through I have not spoken about. 
Not because, because, because I would want to cover the ass of the police. Let's just put it this way. I no longer will do this. Even this. All right, so I walk from video number one that you have seen. I walk towards, towards Gersh. And the car stops and it's this lady that is a public servant and god forbid you would use this word a public servant because um it might not be difficult but i have to reserve a special video that is related again to librarian it's it's a totally separate crazy issue again somebody who repeatedly called me um librarian in grotniki slave my slave slave uh but who got pissed off because i called her once a public servant and started to portray some kind of funny uh, behavior like slave like like she was insult insulted which I, I don't think she was i think she was just because i said servant uh she interpreted that like as if i related to her as a slave something like this but she's always looking for some something crazy and, and does crazy stuff this is the video i have to do separately to that uh it's just a hypocrisy like i said um okay so i apologize for using the word even public servant also this is in the west this is totally acceptable um maybe here it's not i shouldn't say that maybe um okay a public employee uh who was involved also in mk ultra an older lady picks me up and you know I, I i don't like taking rides i i love to go walk i don't like to depend on absolutely anything actually even take from anyone anything i should say accept from anyone anything i just got like a little baking over there at the library right now which is going to open at 11 o'clock uh ate that cleaned the dish behind me um thank them kindly for what there is like like sweet type of holiday that the whole thing is related to today it's some kind of holiday that they they treat themselves with donut and stuff like this in poland and uh when i went to the restroom i that's where i clean the plate and and spoon and everything i clean and then i give them back uh, thank them i was gestured by this lady nazdravia nazdravia to health to, to obviously to health and you're gonna see to what that's why I'm gonna go to the store right now I'm gonna buy some of the stuff and give them right back over there I shouldn't accept I was stupid enough uh, to accept anything from anyone that was like involved in MK Ultra is just the best thing not to accept and uh, when you get the stuff like this you, you don't know what you're gonna get eventually you get then it's just better to give back uh i don't like to take like this you know this is not how i would like to learn about life you know when i give something again i give out of my heart with pleasure uh when i take something i enjoy taking it because it's given to me from the heart that's how i see it and then again if it's not then what i'm gonna do is exactly as I have done to the librarian lady over there in Grotniki. I'll just go to the store, purchase, and return the same thing back, and that's about it. I don't want to live like this. I don't want to accept any kind of strange standards. Uh, I don't want to adjust myself to like uh, a different view, distorted, demented view on the world. This isn't going to happen here in Poland. I it never did, and I never ever will here okay and so i don't eat this kind of food i don't drink this kind of water uh i don't i don't take it like this all right and so i sit with the lady in the car she is like public inspector 
Uh, she was involved in MK Ultra, and I take the ride with her, which I do not regret. Um, first of all, I stress her out about this gloss here. I I explain her about this not because I would be pissed off, because I would be like, uh, you know, under the stress, because I would be, you know. Um, affected by this emotionally in any way. Um, I stressed this especially because she was involved in MK Ultra, especially because she knows about what's going on at this place. Uh, I accent the issue uh, about these people at the center because I know the whole thing is recorded and I want these people to hear. I want them to know because, you see, I dare them. You see, I dare. I'm not the person that, how can I say, that gets intimidated. I should say allowed to be, allowed to be, allowed anyone to, uh, to manipulate one in absolutely any way. Um, they suggested two scenarios uh, for this thing. One scenario was used literally for me to actually tolerate abuse with the idea that I would even benefit from one as there will be people that would actually come forward and admit the whole thing. I don't actually, you know, let me show you something. Let me, let me, let me make you understand. You see, this is a roof right there behind me. <laughs> Let's suppose there are birds over there uh, on that roof and it would be like saying to me those birds uh, eventually are gonna wait for you um, as long as you allow us to do something to you or something like that in that sense uh, the idea behind this is like really really sickening it's like you know it smells like shit it smells like Donald Trump sick sadistic shit is what this is uh, used basically to destroy individual totally everything uh, if he somehow survives if he somehow doesn't get in himself in like in a, in a jail where he probably they you know if they do the stuff like this publicly like this you can imagine what's going on here in the jail system i don't know in the prison system i i don't know paul and really i i'm learning about it okay but you know i don't think it would be good uh it's probably probably i don't know people understand they commit suicides here in a lot in 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 inside of the prison system but when it comes to suicides uh, you don't really know, right? Uh, I, did, I, for me, this is a mystery that people hand themselves in a system where, which is video monitored, uh, surveillance, and um, you know, I, I don't understand that really. Uh, you know, there is a video, but you don't really know who you see, what exactly is that you see, right? And the question is why the person that who is committing the suicide inside of the, who is under the watch and who commits a suicide, the question here is why nobody saw him doing that stuff since he is on a watch and so on and so forth. Okay, too many issues to go about. I would not want to go inside of the Polish prison system. I'm just going to put it this way. Now, period in, in inside of any kind of prison system. Okay, but this one here, I, I don't know. I'm just skeptical about the whole thing because if stuff like this is happening outside uh <laughs> you can probably just guess what is inside okay so enough about that i explain her these issues because this thing is monitored from what was video number one um when i absolutely point out the situation totally related to the border patrol police in Luwach 
to the police alone, to the whole thing, to the Varsho more than anybody else. Um, the MK Ultra scenario pops up with this lady, meaning that the whole thing is so servile and so monitored, so video recorded, it is like beyond believable. You know. So now, again, if you somehow would manage to to survive this whole thing, then there will be that other scenario, like the birds on the roof, which obviously they would not wait for you. Um, that would be like the final disappointment, whatever. That's why that's the kind of stuff you never go about. And what you want to do is you want to go and you want to stress. And so if those birds on the roof really want to wait for you, uh, meaning they have no bad intentions throughout the whole ordeal, uh, they have to understand basically what they have done. So that means that when you fully understand what exactly you have done, um, now if, if you have a clean heart, if, if you're doing this for certain agenda, um, it doesn't really matter, right? I mean, when you go to the police, let's say that you have done something, a crime or something like that, and let's say that you have a bad conscience, you go to the police and you report yourself, you do it because you know that you're going to have to face the law. You're not doing it because, you know, for whatever reason, for whatever motive, you're just doing it. That's how it should be done. Probably most, still most of the cases, this is not what this is. People do look for reasoning, circumstances, and so on, but uh, when you report yourself, if you report yourself to the police, you should, you should do this because, you know, you, you have fully acknowledged what you have done. And, you know, when, when, when somebody that, that, that something was done to is just blatantly honest about it, there are only two things possible, and I could see that she, she had a very hard time with you know accepting these things you know and it's it was like i should see myself as somebody who cannot handle the issues and so on and the fuel to that because i did stress to her about what is going on how i bought these gloves and so on and so forth and related this to the police without absolutely any fear anything like this and she, now she's According to her, she went to appointment here to the city hall. According to her, and I'm going to explain exactly why, how. And I'm not saying this is not the case. I'm just saying that you're going to see how this works. All right, you're going to understand. I'm going to give you more as I finish this thing. But sit in the car. This ladies won't take no for an answer. You go like it or not, you go with them for a ride. So we took the hike, we took we took the ride with the car. And as I'm explaining this to her, the first issue, issue she's using, like, as I'm explaining this to her, you know, I gesture her because it does not even look like new this gloves anymore. I have no idea what they have done to it. It looks like a worker's glove. I say, she just throw this, I feel like throwing this in a garbage can because it's like, who the hell wants to even, you know, I bought these gloves because they're beautiful. And the idea was to have something nice, warm, nice. And when it's already destroyed within less than 24 hours, it, it's kind of reminds you of misery. And, you know, you want to just go and toast this thing in a garbage can. You know? want to go and clean this thing up and saw this thing and this and that you just want to throw this away by the way misery misery it's like I told her a bunch of really really sick people inside of this immigration center that are miserable if you want to know how these people are miserable boy they are so miserable you have no idea I've never seen miserable people as this the only thing that makes them happy is basically is when they make a damage to me that's when they are like happy, like they are like joyous, like I can see that that causing me damage, causing me a harm, it totally relieves, 
release them. It, it makes them feel good. This is the people I'm with in this center. And nobody is sicker than this roommate I have, this Chechen Russian roommate, who gets orders really from Varshow. Nobody's more sick than this guy. You know, when he does a damage, he's like completely, completely different person. It's like, it's like he feels like satisfied, almost like if he got, you know, orgasm or something like this. Seriously, people, this is so sick. Like you have no idea how sick this shit is. You have no idea how sick this shit is with, with these people here. It's scary. And so when I gesture her that, you know what she does? In the middle of this, she cuts me and she brings out a question which she asked already for so many times before. If I have wife and children, you know, so it's like, you are in the middle of the situation like this and you get question that is like some somebody who was involved in MKOTRA asking you a question like in a completely different you know <laughs> psychological I would say uh, level uh, which now it uh, you would say this is confusing or right but what I did was I immediately corrected her you know I you know I, I immediately gestured her that, that she is just uh, you know I let her know that she, that she's using this kind of issues to disturb basically that you know this isn't because somebody would want to calm you down or want good or, or something like this but it's just just to uh, you know just just for you basically to like gesture you like control yourself control yourself like they have done like under mk ultra uh, like you know you should handle your emotions you should you should uh you're being watched and you should just control yourself and so on when it comes to uh johnny and jerchi wife and children of course, the only person uh, that comes to mind that was involved all along, a uh, person I'm interested, still very much interested in, is this Polish psychologist, right? So, um, you know, you should just go about now and and really see yourself as not seeing yourself. You know, totally related to the library and so on. So. We continue to the city, okay. Nevertheless, now you know why I did so, why I do the stuff like this, okay. And as we go through the through the middle of the city, she takes a, she takes a turn, unusual turn to the main street of the city. And I wonder why is it that we're going to that place? Why is it that we are going to the center of the city? Um, on what, as I talk about, uh, the Polish police about uh, the border patrol their implication in this she gesture on one side you see on that side exactly according to MK Ultra scenario on that side is a hospital and on that side right there is Gmina uh, a city hall a city house government basically mentally sick you will be acknowledged and on that side right there if you're not gonna stop on that side right there, prosperity for you, jobs, government, high position, uh, and so on and so forth, right? So this is how we're going to regulate each other. Okay, I mean, it's 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 so good. Like I said, uh, Poland is learning about Poland. For me, this is okay. world is learning about the Poland. So... Uh, Right on, that's fine with me. I asked her why did she mention the hospital and I do this in a such a way that you cannot say, uh, you know, uh, translate this to somebody as I would be afraid of, uh, you know, health services here in Poland. Believe me, I'm not. Uh, and what I, do, but what I do is, so there's so the room to somebody that would think about, I'm paranoid, anything like this despite everything they have done to me in Slovenia in respect to the physical torture inside of a mental hospital and so on five years what went on torture over there in Slovenia I asked her if this area here 
it's called Spital area. And on the other side may be Gmina area. Spital hospital, Gmina, like um, city government area, something like that. Uh, and she doesn't have the answer for that. All of a sudden she turns... All of a sudden she turns right again. And we continue on this street and all of a sudden a lot of papers are thrown like the whole road is covered with the papers they fly all over. Now for this under MK Ultra I was told that when I'm gonna mention the police, when I start to talk about the police, I'm screwed, I'm effed. They're not gonna help me out and this and that and so on and so forth. Um, the only thing I'm going to go is, I'm going to point you out to the roof right there. Because, you see, it's you who are waiting for those birds, not me. I never waited for those birds, and it looks like I'm still not waiting for these birds, because the video, the camera just rolls on. Of course, I'm referring to a Polish police, I'm referring to Polish immigration, I'm referring to Mr. Duda Morawiecki, in more than the name Mr. Kuczynski, right? And of course, Mr. Donald Trump, right? You see it, birds over there? No birds? Okay. Let's continue with this stuff. You see, it always depends how you see things go, uh, where you want to position yourself. And, you know, I, I just never want to position myself under the, uh, you know, under the shoe, under the boot of some losers, punks criminals or something like this. This I cannot afford myself. I could not afford myself. So the world is learning about Poland. Polish people as well as world is learning about Poland. Okay? And so this is what this paper is supposed to be about. Alright? And then she drops me off over there at at an intersection and what I do is I proceed uh, to Biedronka, to the store, grocery store. Yeah, in this grocery store, I try to find information about these gloves. These gloves are the gloves I have purchased yesterday at all. Like I said, these gloves might have been gloves that not only were cut by the knife, but it might actually even pertain to some purchase that somebody committed himself to. Uh, who knows when? Maybe a month, maybe two months ago, who knows? Because my gloves yesterday, which I have purchased, did not look like this. Did not, did not look wide and screwed up like that. It didn't look like that. All right, so I just wanted to get those informations done, uh, which, according to employees from Biedronka, I'm going to have to go personally to the store where I have purchased them from. Okay? All right, so now you understand uh, how... Uh, things are here, how things are working out. Uh, now I still have a time to go find out at the bank why my ticket, why my tram ticket was declined uh, on a public uh, tram, tramway, and I had to walk 30 plus kilometers at night in the rain back to uh, Grotniki from immigration appointment with Polish immigration all from Lodz all the way to Grotniki. Uh, I, I, you understand what's going on probably more and more. Uh, and the second thing, I'm gonna go to Biedronka buy some chasto. That's in Polish like baking, so I can give that straight back to uh, these people here, the library. So. Uh, no, uh, in the library there is actually the lady here that works that she is outstanding. Uh, she's got a few extra kilos. I love her the best. Funny enough, under MK Ultra she didn't love me at all. She was like a boogeyman. But in the real world she is a sweetheart. A really, really good-hearted lady uh, who has absolutely everything clean under the roof. Uh, unlike 
some in this library that gesture all kinds of stuff uh, including sexual in the future uh, but it looks like everything is messy over there I would not um, no I would not period in any way but so that's all there is for this video uh, thanks for watching this one till next time